All right. Enough of that. It's story time. Where was I? <clears throat> the man came crawling towards me on his belly, pale, wonderfully pale and thin. He seemed on the point of... No, I done that bit. Uh, I calmly filled my pipe, the Mershon, lit it with, let's say, a Vesta, drew a few puffs. <sighs> what is it you want? It was an extraordinary bitter day. I remember a zero by the thermometer, but considering it was Christmas Eve, well, there was nothing extraordinary about that. Seasonable weather, for once, in a way. Well, what ill wind blows you my way? He raised his face to me, black with mingled tears, dirt and tears. Dirt, that you do it. No, no, don't look at me, don't look at me. He dropped his eyes and mumbled something about apologies, I presume. I'm a busy man, you know. The final touches before the festivities, you know what it is. Come on now. What is the object of this invasion? It was a glorious bright day, I remember. Fifty by the heliometer, but already the sun was sinking down into the... Down among the dead. Ooh, nicely put that. Come on now, come on, present your petition and let me resume my labors. Well, that's English for you. Oh, well. It was then he took the plunge. It's my little one, he said. A little one, that's bad. My boy, he said. As if the sex mattered, but where did he come from? He named the hole, a good half day on horse. What are you insinuating, that the place is still inhabited? No, no, not a soul except himself and the child, assuming he existed. Good. I inquired about the situation at Cove, beyond the gulf, not a sinner. Good. And you expect me to believe you have left your little one back there all alone and alive in the bargain? Come on now. It was a howling day, I remember. A hundred by the aniometer. The wind was tearing up the dead pines and sweeping them... away. People did that. Come on, man, speak up. What is it you want from me? I have to put up my holly. Well, to make it short, it finally transpired that what he wanted from me was bread for his brat. Bread? But I have no bread. Doesn't agree with me. Good. Then perhaps a little corn. How's she doing? Corn. Yes, I have corn. It's true in my granaries, but use your head. I give you some corn, a pound, a pound and a half. You bring it back to your child and you make him, if he's still alive, a nice port of, port of pottage, pot of porridge, a nice pot and a half of porridge full of nourishment. Good. The colors come back into his little cheeks, perhaps. And then I lost patience. Use your head. Can't you use your head? You're on earth. There's no cure for that. 